Was there any thought? Was there any, did you ever have any concerns about it getting, not getting done before the start of regular season? Uh, no, sir. Um, you know, I think the whole process has been been pretty smooth. Uh, we've been talking since probably maybe March. So, we, I mean, we knew what, you know, the goal was. And, you know, everything's been, you know, working the whole time. So, there was no doubt in my mind that we wasn't going to get it done before the season. You talked about the road, the, road, the road you took from high school to college. You wanted, you wanted to go to Clemson, could, didn't end up going there. People questioning your pick. When you saw that you were the highest paid linebacker in the NFL after the road you took, what was the first thought that came to your mind? I mean, I was just very thankful. You know, I'm just, you know, just thinking about all the things that I've been through in life and, you know, all the ups and downs that I've had to go through and all the doubters that I have to go through. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, they still, you know, they still have the downside about, about you know, what I do for a living. And, you know, I just got to continue to come out and just um, continue to prove them wrong. And that's, that's the mindset, you know. Um, you know, yes, I got paid, but, you know, I didn't – I got paid for what I did, you know, three years recently. So now I got to continue to show that, you know, I am can be I can be a great linebacker. I got to continue to prove it each Sunday. Darius, when this got done, can you tell us like what were those moments like? Who would you call? I assume call your wife or your family, and just what were those conversations like? Um, you know the conversation that you know um, we thought it was gonna get done um, yesterday. So you know I went home, you know uh, got with the family, you know I just call, you know call call the whole family up, you know all you know with all this technology now, you know you can Facetime everybody at one time. So, you know, just, you know, just making sure mama knew that, you know, we, we did it. You know, she didn't, don't have to struggle anymore. She don't have to worry about, you know, trying to make ends meet. And, you know, that, that's the biggest thing, you know, just seeing what she's been through in, in her life. And now it's time for her to, you know, just sit back and relax. And, you know, the worst, worst part about it, you know, just, you know, like I said, everybody know my story. And, you know, my brother, you know, he got killed when he was, when he was 18, I was 17. And, you know, that's what we dreamed of. And for him not, not to be here with me to, you know, to witness this, you know, that's, that's the only thing that, you know, that really sucks, you know. When, when my agent called me and told me he was getting it done, you know, it was, it was full of, you know, nothing but joy and happiness. And then, you know, you, it hits you that, you know, your, your best friend isn't here to, you know, to go through it. So that is, I mean, that's, that's the only downfall, but everything else has been, been pretty smooth. I know we asked Brian Kelly this when he signed his big deal. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? You're gonna treat yourself to anything? What about you? You're a simple guy. Oh no. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very simple. Um, you know, I think I got enough old school cars right now, so I think I'm gonna buy maybe, I think maybe 40 acres. You know, build my house back at home. So that, that's the goal. I gotta get me a forever home. Did you want this deal done before you hit the practice field? You said, did I want it? Um, well, you know, it was crazy because you know I'm coming off of you know off the injury, and you know luckily, well not luckily, I mean it just played out the way it did. Um, I'm thankful and I'm glad that I, I mean, I got it done without, I mean, before I got on the field, you know, then you don't have to worry about it, you know, hanging over your head, you know, playing, you know, trying to get hurt or anything. So I'm just thankful that we did get it done. Um, so yeah. How are you feeling? When do you think you'll, when do you think you'll be back on the practice field? Um, hopefully, hopefully next week, hopefully. Um, I've, you know, I've been feeling, feeling pretty good. Um, been running, you know, off to the side, trying to make sure, you know, everything's, everything's pretty good. I have a, I mean, I have a run today, you know, right after practice. So. Hopefully today's run go go pretty smooth, and hopefully next week we can get things rolling. Darius, I know that being considered the best means a lot to you. Take the money out of it. Uh, what is what does that mean to you in terms of just how prideful you are in terms of getting the highest trade contract? Um, well, you know I'm a competitor, so I mean if I mean, if you ain't first, you last. So I mean just to have my name right now as the, at the top, you know that's a, that's a, you know that's something that you know I I don't take don't take for you know any for granted. You know I got to continue to go out and prove that you know. I can play, and that's the mindset. I mean, you've seen the you seen the rankings. You know, I think I was six, and I think I was number eight on Madden. And you know, <laughs> I guess they don't like the numbers that I put up. You know, <laughs> but you know, I'm just I'm just a true competitor. I mean, if you, you play this game, no matter what you do in life, you got to compete. You know, no matter if it's a reporter or whatever in life, you you got to compete to to be be the best. If you then if you compete to be the best, you got to you know you got to the three Ds I talk about. You got to be disciplined. You got to be determined, and you got to have the um, you got to pay attention to the small details. And I think that's what I work on. I, hopefully, that I can go out and prove it every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. When you saw Fred's numbers, did you mentioned your agent say, uh, "Let's let's get, get, get a little more than that." Of course, you. I mean, you know. It. I mean, you. I mean, you. You sit back. You sit back and wait. You know. You, you got to be patient. You know, patient is the key. And you know, you when he when he got his deal done. You know, I mean, me and Fred was talking the whole time, and you know, trying to figure out how the how this thing was going to go. And you know, and once he did, you know, my agent hit me up. I was like, hey, he got his done. Now we got to shoot a little bit over him, you know, just, you know, for you to be the highest paid. And, you know, my agents did a, did a great job, you know, doing this whole deal. And, you know, 
I always tell them, you know, you don't tell me how to play football. I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. So, you know, I just put all my trust in them, and we got the thing done. You, you, you had the cleats with all the sayings <laughs> of all the criticism you've gotten over the years. You got a new pair of cleats with uh, something else on that lets everybody know? Um, nah, I mean, no, nah, I'm just I'm always going to, you know, I, I say little slick things every once in a while, you know, like I did a while ago with all the rankings. But, you know, I, I get to a point now that no matter what, you know, they're they going to stick and talk. I mean, no matter what numbers I put up, no matter if we win the Super Bowl or whatever, they, they're still going to say anything, something negative about, you know, what this defense or what I'm doing. So now I'm just got to continue to prove that, you know, that my my work got to got to show. There's, you know, you, you've told us, obviously, growing up, you didn't have everything you wanted and you had, your family had some struggles. When you think about how your kids, the life that your kids will have, what is that? What do you think? I mean, you, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, it was crazy when we signed out, when I signed a deal, you know, they came up, you know, took pictures and, you know, I was just holding the two girls and just thinking about, you know, what I've been through in life. And, you know, now it's more so, okay, now they're, they're good, but, you know, I'm from down south. I mean, you still got to work for everything. You know, you still got to, you know, if you want something, you got to, you got to, you got to find a way to get the job done. You got to go out, you got to work, but I mean, you're not going to have to do it just to make ends meet. I mean, you're doing it just because I'm teaching you how to grind. I'm going to teach you that, you know, don't ask for a handout. You know, if I can, I can give them all the money in the world, but that's not going to teach them nothing. I mean, I got to make sure that they understand that, you know, don't count on nobody to give you nothing. Go out and earn and take what's yours. Darius, there's been an outpouring of love from Colts Nation today. What do you want to say to them? What can they expect from you in the next five years? I um, just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for the support. And, you know, for the next five years, you're going to have someone energetic, someone who's going to, you know, give their all no matter what. You know, if it's fourth down, play 20 on a drive, you're going to see somebody who's um, you know, going to give it their all. And, you know, I think the um, most important is what I do off the field. You're going to see someone who's going, who's going to give back, someone who's going to um, uphold that tradition of, you know, what it, what it is to be a coat and wear that, wear that blue with, with nothing but pride and joy.